Hello, my name is Ethan Atley and I'm a part of Section 1 of Dr. Lindsay's PRT 266 class. Today I'm volunteering at Dell Soccer Field with the Wolfpack Marketing Academy. Today's date is October 20th, 2022, and today I'll be volunteering at the Louisville versus NC State women's soccer game. Like you just heard, my name is Ethan Hatley, and today I'm going to talk about my volunteer experience with the Wolfpack Marketing Academy at the Louisville vs. NC State women's basketball game. Unfortunately, I was really busy learning and carrying out my responsibilities during my volunteer experience that I was not able to capture a lot of footage or photos, but I am going to be able to talk about my experience and share the videos and photos that I was able to capture. So to start off, my volunteer experience, I met at Dell Soccer Field and we kind of went over the script and kind of schedule for the volunteer experience. And um, in fact, I have a picture of that and it'll be right here. After going over the script and schedule for the game, we then headed over to Reynolds Coliseum to collect all the supplies that we needed for the game. In my case, I had to carry a big drum as well as wheel a cart full of uh, supplies such as our marketing table, a tablecloth, the shirts and towels we're gonna be giving away. And we wheeled, wheeled them back over to Dell Soccer Field where then we started out by hanging up the banners on both student sections for the Red Terrors. In fact, I do have a video of my fellow volunteers and I hanging up those banners and you'll be seeing that now. As you can tell in that video, my job was to do the typical tall man job, which was to hold the banners up so that the other volunteers could fasten them to the bleachers. After we finished setting up those banners, we then moved back up to the top of the stadium or the field where we then set up our marketing table. To do that, we set up this you know typical folding table and put a tablecloth down. And then we proceeded to fold the shirts that we were gonna give away as prizes as well as set up our promotional item of the game, which was these rally towels that said Red Terrors on them. In fact, I have some pictures of those later. After we got our marketing table set up, we finished up with a few other setups, such as, you know, making some minor tweaks to the, the positioning of the banners, as well as making sure the Red Terrors had everything that they needed to conduct their usual actions. So moving on, the gates finally opened and that's when we started having to hand out the promotional item of the game, the rally towels. In fact, I do have some pictures of me, you know, handing out those towels and getting ready to hand out those towels and you'll be seeing them now. Following the completion of handing out all of the promotional items of the game, the game would then begin. And my next task was to stand on the track surrounding the field and be prepared to throw out t-shirts if NC State were to score a goal. If NC State were to score a goal, my job would be to throw out a t-shirt in the student section as well as the, you know, the main portion of the stands. Unfortunately, State would not score a goal in the first half of the game. That would lead to halftime. Now during halftime, we had to set up a game called Dizzy Bat. This game encompasses two teams. Both teams pick a person to start out. That first person spins around a bat 15 times before dribbling through three cones with the soccer ball. They then pass it on to their teammate, who then has to spend another 15 times around a bat before then trying to score a goal. The first team to score the goal would win. So after we got out all the cones, set them up, had the bats and balls in position, we then started the game, had the two teams you know, compete against each other. After one of the teams won, we then got them off the field, cleaned up all those supplies, and then gave the winning team their t-shirts. Following halftime, we, I then went back to what I did in the first half, which was stand ready to throw out t-shirts. Unfortunately, State would not score a goal during the second half either. However, you know, I was prepared to throw out t-shirts and you'll be seeing that picture now. The game, I then had to go along with my fellow volunteers to pick up 
all the supplies that we put out or all the materials we put out and then return them to the basement rentals coliseum after we had returned all the materials that we had out we then had a debriefing meeting with our supervisors after that meeting it was the end of my volunteer experience i have to say that i thoroughly enjoyed my volunteer experience it was very fun and only you know, work to participate to volunteer in, but it was also very rewarding and informational. I learned a lot about marketing and fan experience and some strategies that are conducted to improve the overall experience of fans on game days, even for a smaller sport such as women's soccer. I enjoyed my ex volunteer experience so much that I decided to continue to volunteer with Wolfpack Marketing Academy, and since then I have volunteered at sporting events such as men's basketball and women's basketball. I had a great time volunteering and I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to do this volunteer experience.